बढ़िया इंटेलिजेंट डॉक्टर चाहिए वो डॉक्टर चाहिए जो आगे आके इस देश का नाम रोशन करे इंडिया में डॉक्टर्स की बड़ी कमी है वो सब जो किया है वो आप लोगों के लिए किया है जो बच्चे तेईस बच्चे चुन के आए हैं नहीं तो उनकी जगह पैसे वाले बच्चे आते हैं ये सरेंडर करता है हर साल यही कॉलेज इंडिया में है जो एनआरआई फीस सरेंडर करता है ये सब आपके लिए है आपको मेरी तरफ से बड़ी शुभकामनाएं रैगिंग में जरूर देखेगा जरा सा भी रैगिंग का केस हो खराब केस हो सीधा पुलिस में डायरेक्ट नहीं जाना डीन और बुटी चौबे को कहिए बाकी काम मंगा थैंक यू हेलो थैंक यू सर फॉर दिस मैसेज नाउ आई इनवाइट डॉक्टर वसुधा दामले शी विल गिव अ ब्रीफ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन इंडक्शन एंड ओरिएंटेशन डॉक्टर वसुधा दामले थैंक यू सर एंड थैंक यू ऑल अथॉरिटीज फॉर ऑल दिस ट्रस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस नाउ माय एक्सपीरियंस एज अ मेडिकल टीचर इन दिस इंस्टीट्यूट and how your life is going to be in a medical school few things today i want to share now all of you want to become a doctor right definitely all of you are here because of some or other reason status money respect from society your passion social service you are inspired by someone or for some is fascination for a white coat how many of you are fascinated by white coat kitne logo ko laga ki white coat dekh ke doctor banna hai many of you might be fascinated by this so at the same time society also looks very high upon you with their own perceptions they say doctor is very nice just by talking to him my illness vanish uh, i think kapoor sir has rightly said about this now this doctor has got a good clinical sense this doctor has got a good surgical hand and so on so let me tell you very clearly that academics is the core but life is not all about academics attitude behavior communication skills acquiring practical skills along with theoretical learning is all included now in your curriculum now what i mean by skills how many skills we know giving intravenous injection is a skill applying sutures can be skill recording bp is a skill but then communication is also a skill prescription writing is also a skill management and counseling is also a skill so how to acquire those skills now we have got a very good uh, skill labs uh, skill lab in our institute and i like to tell you here that try to learn more and more from that but apart from that don't miss your clinics because ultimately what you are going to learn from your clinicians uh, that is the ultimate learning then some training programs as cpr neonatal resuscitation program live workshops all the time they are conducted by some or other department in this institute this is a participation of 2016 interns batch in neonatal resuscitation program which was recently conducted by department of pediatrics again ors campaign and cpr workshops now these are 2014 batch uh, students and this was our first batch earlier they used to come and observe and later on they started assisting us in operation theaters during their internship so this is another way of learning this is team of surgeons total 10 major operation operation theaters are there in our institute apart from that there are some minor ots also so this is the team of our surgeons in this college now march 2020 it was our biggest test when our first batch passed out and worked as corona warriors it was their first clinical exposure after passing out and the world was going through pandemic so many do's and don'ts peers were working from home but this was a lifetime experience for them i will also suggest you that such opportunities if you get you are not supposed to miss it these are our interns so hats off to young corona warriors and great leadership by department of psm and microbiology and nursing staff then another feather in the crown almost 45 students clear all india neat pre pg exams and many of them qualified with higher ranks it was a great honor for the institute and i would like to share here that all these students they were very sincere at every place 
they were good in academics they were good in sports they were good in cultural activities so don't think like this uh, because missing classes is one of the major problem now apart from academics various co curricular and extra curricular activities are there like quiz model making poster making awareness program workshops so what is the need for this there are different ways of learning now by which technique you learn and retain best i like to know from all of you by doing by teaching others then group discussions demonstrations audio visual and reading so different techniques are there even if you want to uh, master some cooking uh, tip then even it requires skill right so which technique helps you the best by demonstrating others or by doing by doing so by doing and by demonstrating uh, others we learn in a better way so different techniques helps in a different way so there is role of your co curricular activities so many awareness programs has been conducted by our institute i donation awareness program glaucoma awareness program we recently conducted then department of obstetrics uh, they conducted awareness program on breastfeeding another awareness program was created by department of community medicine on 9th april and like this so this is a these are some interesting pictures of i donation awareness program uh, by department of ophthalmology and now i like to share here that very soon we are going to start with an eye bank also it is already under process and it's a little bit difficult task but it is already under the process this is about world glaucoma awareness program and uh, so many uh, posters and uh, slogan writing was done by ugs your senior batch this was the skit performed by your uh, senior batch and i must say it received lots of appreciation at divisional of tanvik society so uh, they worked very hard towards this and you will also get opportunity to learn uh, activities like this this was world health day celebration on 7th april uh, these are some quiz programs conducted by department of ophthalmology on glaucoma and um, uh, world world health day so for two consecutive years we conducted this quiz program and now i expect that your senior batch is going to do this for you but it all depends on your cooperation with your seniors now rural posting and camps these are some activities governed by psm department uh, and i think you should not miss you should not take it lightly ki rural posting mein jaake kya karna hai it is equally mandatory these are uh, some poor patients who got operated for cataract under aishman bharat and national program by department of ophthalmology it is another good way of learning so ultimately health has a wealth hai by health we mean so many psm people are there and what i understand the meaning of health that it is not only physical and mental and social being social well being but spiritual component is also added now so obviously inter college sports events and in house cultural events they you should all uh, think about this apart from your academics these are some photographs of cultural activities so lastly but not the least you can lead a horse to a water but you cannot make him drink so don't be passive learners tap endless potential you have be active energetic and enthusiastic well begun is half done so thank you so much for patient listening now i invite uh, dr dk pal sir dean arcade of university to further continue the program and uh, that is white coat ceremony dr dk pal sir so now we have come for the white coat ceremony and uh, i hope all the first year students uh they have their appearance with them uh i will call the first 10 students here and uh, i will request some senior faculty members to to put appearance on their shoulders simultaneously all those students who are there on the on the uh, they are sitting in the front they will also put on their appearance and then i will read out the modified maharshi charak shapat in place of the hippocratic oath which the 
doctors they are usually uh, they used to take the national medical commission has replaced it, it by charak shapat so uh, i have we have distributed a copy of this charak and uh, this shapat and i hope all the students have a copy of this shapat and uh, i will read out So, ten students. Students, ma'am. Okay. Sir, ये अभी रखते हैं यहाँ पे रखा हूँ। Sir, बाकी आपके साथ लोग हैं। Swati, names of the students. Sir, वो लोग कुछ बताएँगे? नहीं? Sir. I think this is the biggest blessing that you are receiving this white coat from our chairman, sir. Nothing more than that. नहीं 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 उससे बड़ा होने वाला है कि जब मैडम से पहने यस प्रोसेस ऑफ़ पुटिंग ऑन एंड वेयरिंग दिस व्हाइट कोट ऑल ऑफ़ यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू पुट ऑन दिस व्हाइट कोट ऑन द लास्ट पेंचेस एंड आफ्टर दैट विल ऑल हैव द ओट सेरेमनी Shapat, and uh, you will recite after me. Okay. So, <coughs> uh, during the period of study, I shall live a disciplined life with my teachers and peers. My action shall be guarded, service-oriented. And free from indiscipline. In my dealings, I shall be patient, obedient, humble, constantly contemplative, and calm. I shall aim my full efforts and ability towards the desired goal of my profession. 
as a physician, I shall always use my knowledge for welfare of mankind. I shall always be ready to serve patients even if I am extremely busy and tired. I shall, I shall not harm any patient for the sake of monetary or selfish gains, nor shall I entertain a desire for lust, greed and wealth. Immorality shall not emerge even in my thoughts. My dressing should be decent yet impressive and inspiring confidence. My conduct shall always be appropriate, pleasant, truthful, beneficial and polite. I shall use my experience in actions appropriate for the time and place. I shall constantly endeavor to accomplish, keep updated with the latest developments in the field and widen my knowledge. I shall treat patient of gender other than mine in presence of relative or attendance. When examining a patient, my discretion, attention and senses shall be concentrated on the cure of the disease. I shall not divulge the confidentiality related to the patient or family inappropriately. Although an authority in my subject, I shall not display my knowledge and skills with arrogance. Thank you. Now I, now I invite Dr. Vasudha to continue for the program further. Now it's time to acknowledge our seniors and mentors for what we have received so far. Uh, all of you sit down please. Now I request Dr. Kushwa sir to give a token of remembrance from our side to our Honorable Chairman sir, Dr. Sunil Kapoor sir. Now I request Vice Chancellor Sir, Dr. Kashan Pillai to give a token of remembrance to our beloved ma'am, Dr. Sadhana Kapoor ma'am. Now I request Dr. D.K. Sir, Dean of our Institute to give a memento to Dr. Iris Gupta Sir. He is all time mentor for all of us. We always receive lots of guidance from him from time to time. So thank you. Uh, uh, Dr. D.K. Paisa wants to share some important information with all of you. Uh, 
downstairs on the ground floor there are three counters one is for account opening in the campus there is a union bank of india and uh, the team of the union bank of india is there on one counter and they will provide you the forms for account opening you just fill up the formalities the basic formalities the the details you can fill up later on and you can submit the form in one or two days in the office second is your first year books are there in the council hall there is a team from the library and they will provide you a set of books which you will need in the first year so you can go one by one and collect your book sets okay and uh, <clears throat> thirdly some those uh, students who don't have dissection set those who don't have a proper apron or stethoscope there is third counter and you can get you can purchase it from that particular place if you want so that is uh, these are the facilities which are available downstairs the now i uh, uh, invite dr vasudha for vote of thanks so it's time to acknowledge now first of all i like to thank all the dignitaries on the dais who spent their valuable time and took interest in each and every event of ours i like to thank all the students and their parents who have come so far i like to thank all the faculty members for being here i like to thank dr swati dr disha dr kajal and dr santosh patel sir for being my all time support i like to thank ruchi madam avasio jonath sir khan sir tiwari ji and all the staff members for all this uh, logistic arrangements they made they were working all throughout last 2 3 days they worked very hard towards it so thank you so much thank you once again and now i, I think it's time for national anthem we all should stand up yeah and then it will be followed by lunch so namana dinayak jayave bharat bhagya vidhata punjab on first floor so please join us thank you so much thank you once again तो भोपाल के आरकेटीएफ मेडिकल कॉलेज हॉस्पिटल एंड रिसर्च सेंटर में व्हाइट कोट सेरेमनी का आयोजन किया जा रहा था जिसकी सीधी तस्वीर इस वक्त आपको हम दिखा रहे थे आपको बताते चले कि एमबीबीएस 2021 बैच के विद्यार्थियों की ये व्हाइट कोट सेरेमनी का आयोजन आरकेटीएफ ग्रुप में किया गया आरकेटीएफ ग्रुप के चेयरमैन डॉक्टर सुनील कपूर मुख्य अतिथि के तौर पर इस पूरे कार्यक्रम में शामिल हुए जहां पर उन्होंने 
तमाम एमबीबीएस के विद्यार्थियों का उत्साह वर्धन किया और साथ ही उनको ये बताया कि इस पेशे की आखिर कितनी महत्ता है व्हाइट कोर्ट सेरेमनी के इस आयोजन में आरकेडीएफ मेडिकल कॉलेज के डीन जीके पाल वाइस चांसलर प्रशांत पल्ली एक्स वाइस चांसलर एफ एस कुशवाहा डॉक्टर हेमंत गटकर डॉक्टर आर एस गुप्ता भी मौजूद थे वहीं एमबीबीएस की पढ़ाई कर रहे साल 2020 और 21 के बैच के 150 विद्यार्थियों की व्हाइट कोर्ट सेरेमनी आयोजित की गई समारोह के दौरान मेडिकल कॉलेज के प्रोफेसर भी मौजूद थे वहीं व्हाइट कोर्ट सेरेमनी को लेकर छात्र छात्राओं में खासा उत्साह देखने को मिला इसी के साथ इस बुलेटिन में इतना ही डीजी छात्र नमस्कार